thank you for joining us again today for another video. Um, we just want to remind you right now that if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, you can do so below, and you'll get updates when new videos are posted. Because really something that we feel like that is important in this time is to be putting out uplifting and encouraging content. There's just a lot of information that's out there right now. There's a lot of different opinions, and we want to bring you hope-filled messages yes. that encourage you, that f build you up, that really strengthen to your life. And today, I have the honor of being here with John Carney. So thank you for being here, John. Privileged. And John is an amazing, he's an amazing pastor, apostle, a missionary. He's very, very prophetic. And so he's going to bring a word today for us. Um, and we were kind of already just talking beforehand yes. a bit about the importance and looking in Luke. Is actually, mm -hmm. it's where we've been reading in Luke chapter 14. Yes. And here in Luke chapter 14, Jesus is giving direction about what, has to happen if we are going to make it to the end. Yeah. So he's saying that before we start a journey, before we start to build something, we need to first see, can we actually make it all the way? Now, Andrew, why that becomes so important right now is yeah. because changes are coming very quickly. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> We've been in this season where everything just stopped, and now it's going to crank up again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in the beginning of the season, changes were happening so quick, right? It's like every couple of days there was a new order, a new right. way to do everything, and now we're going to kind of be on the flip side of that. That's right. Whereas we enter back in, things are going to be popping along really fast. That's right. And so when, the, when that first started, we had decisions taken away from us. Yes. We had power taken away yes. from us. We, our worlds were made smaller. Well, now there's going to start to become an expansion of the world mm. again. And the question is, do you want your world to go back to the way that it was before? Yeah. Or is God in this season moving you something come on. completely different? Yeah, come on. And either way, you have to count the cost of can I actually get there? Yeah, that's First good. of all, do I know where I'm going? The story, Andrew, that Jesus tells here is that if a man's intending to build a tall building, a tall tower, yeah. he needs to figure out, do I have enough to finish the tower? Yeah. And it, he actually says, if you don't, finish the journey because you didn't count the cost. You're going to be mocked for that. Yeah. <laughs> you, got, you got every good intention, but intention doesn't get it yeah. get us to the other end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Counting the cost of what it looks like of where God is taking exactly. us. Exactly. Right. And I think that's so important for right now because I think a lot of us, there's a temptation to get a little stagnant in our spiritual life, in our walk right now because a lot of us are stuck at home. We're not being encouraged. Right. We're not being called higher necessarily like we were. We're not at church like we're used to on a Sunday. But it's so important right now that we're paying attention, like John said, to where God is taking right. us. We're paying attention to what the cost is going to be for where he's calling us to go yeah. because he's moving things. Yes. And we don't want to be left behind. We don't want to be unaware of what he's calling us to. That's right. Just before I came, a, a friend of mine called me. He said, well, what are you doing right now? And he says, oh, he says, I'm throwing stuff out. Throwing stuff. And I said, <laughs> you're throwing stuff out that you've had around for a long time that you really know in your heart you're not going to need. Yeah, come on. And he goes, that's right. He said, I backed my pickup truck up and wow. loaded it full of stuff that I was never knew I would never need. And I said, why? And he said, because I'm preparing for what's ahead. Come on. That just happened within the hour. <laughs> and and, and so, so that's really what God is saying to us. Yeah, Get prepared on. for what's ahead yeah. by setting your sights on where I'm going to take you. Come on. Yeah, and it's not just even for us individually. I want to encourage you for your families right now. Be asking yourself, where is God taking us as a family? For those of you who are business owners, where is God taking us as a business in this time? That God is moving and pushing things forward right now, and we need to be aware right. of where he's taking right. us. If you're a single mom or a dad, yeah. And you're going to have to get these kids back in school and, and get them uh, put <laughs> yeah. back into some semblance yeah. of order other than being totally housebound. What do you need that you can ask Father to provide? Mm, come on. That's good. Yeah. He, he's waiting for you to come and say, I I've been processing where you're taking us. And my family, my two kids, my three kids, and I by ourselves, we really need this and this. Yeah. Father, where are you going to bring that to us? Come That's on. part of counting the cost. Eh? Yeah, it that's is. That's good. Yeah, yeah, that's very good. You know, and then and then really thinking about what outcomes you want here at Life Church. I know the staff is already working to think about what's it going to be like when we all get to come back here yeah. in living person yeah. um, hood again. They're planning and working. Well, what about you? What about me? 
I, I, I said to Andrew earlier, I, I went to Staples this week. There was something I needed to have, and I went over there, and I walked up the front door, and there's this beautiful sign at the front door that says that everybody in this store wears a mask. Mm. Well, I, I had a mask. I was wearing a mask. Mine has a John Deere tractor on my <laughs> mask. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So I showed my John Deere tractor mask, and, and they had somebody there who would greet you. They would take your name, and they would offer you a mask if you didn't have one wow. and let you into the store. They had clearly thought through this journey yeah, of yeah. having customers come back. Yeah, They were not ordered to do that by the, the president yeah, or yeah, by yeah. the governor or by some edict. They had considered the cost and had begun to do that. So when you mm. go in the store, I had a question. They had the, the, the customer service area. They had it marked out where you would stand. Immediately, somebody would come and give you attention at that. Went and got what I needed, found it. Um, ended up at the at the checkout counter. There was a person in front of me. They had the floor clearly marked where I was supposed to stand. But I didn't stand there, Andrew, for 10 seconds before they opened another register. Wow. They had thought through all of these things to keep us socially safe and socially distanced and all yeah. the things that would benefit me as a customer, their employees, and them as a business that I would be, uh, I would trust them to yeah. come there again. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what it means to count the cost. Mm. Yeah. Uh, of, of, of where we're going to go and how we're going to head there. Yeah, and so I think just also then encouraging us just to be aware, even as you come back to church, yes. right, that that is something that we're doing. We're paying attention to what it looks like, counting the cost of what does it mean to gather together again as a body, to gather again as a family. Because right. we're excited for it, but we're not, I think part of counting the cost is having wisdom, right, to yes. look into the situation and see what is God saying, what is the Holy Spirit saying, what does it look like to walk in wisdom in a time that's different from what we're used that, to? That's right. And, and you, you, you perfectly led into that because the great way to start, the great place to start in counting the cost is to ask God for wisdom. Mm, come on. He says, if any of you lack wisdom, I have the questions, but I don't have the answers. Yeah. That's perfectly positioning you to say, okay, then, Father, you said you would give me the wisdom. Here yeah. I am asking. Yeah, come I'm on. I'm counting the cost. So, so, so. Let me know mm. what we need to do. Yeah, what, what would be the wise um, things to do? Yeah, come on. Amen. Awesome. That's really, really good. And, and, and so, so there's very practical steps. We've been kind of carried along by whatever whim was going on. Yeah, no, we totally have been, yeah. We really have. Yeah, it feels and, like it. And the other thing that, that's really crucial to understand is our worlds have gotten smaller. Yes. Yes, and when have. our world gets smaller, we're in a very dangerous place mm. when it comes time to expand the world again. Remember <laughs> when you were 15 or 16 years old, some of the decisions you made were not too, oh, yeah. too, down. too yeah. wise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, because your world had been so small, you had not actually learned how to live yeah, with good. that large a world. Well, yeah. Some of us are going to be 15 to 16, and uh, again, <laughs> when it comes back to having life return to us. Yeah. So the importance of making sure that we're walking in wisdom. Yes. Um, and that we're also then being aware that where, where someone else is at, what someone else is called to, them counting the cost might look different for them than for me. Because the world is bigger than me. Mm, come on. Yeah. Woo! There you go. I mean, that's, that's, good. One of the, that's one of the primary dangers of coming yes. out of this kind of a season. And no politician is going to talk about this with you, but, but it's made us bigger in our world. Mm, yeah. No, totally. Yeah. And, you know, when, 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 you, uh, when they, they make a movie, and if you're a movie producer, they, yeah. they walk around, they hold their fingers like this, and they look like this. Uh, and the reason <laughs> they're looking like this is because everything inside of what the camera sees is bigger. Yeah. You know, like, like, like if I look at you this way, you have a really fat head, Andrew. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but if I look like this, your head goes back to its normal yeah. size yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's filling up my whole environment. Mm, that's good. Come that's on. That's what the Scripture is saying. Count the cost. Look at it in the context of a large yeah. world. There you go. Not Come on. you large in a small world. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's other people out there. That's Come right. Come on. Yes. That's really, really good. So I want to encourage all of you right now at home to start looking at what that means. Yes. How are you counting the cost individually yes. as a fam family? Um, and just realize, too, that we're doing it as a church. We're also yeah. going to be doing it ourselves. But there, it's important because, like you said, it's not big me in a small world, right? It's me in a very large world. There's other people out there. And that's what's coming. That's yeah, what and we're that's what we're heading towards, that's for sure. That's the journey. Yeah, yeah, come on. Well, 
I'm going to ask John just to pray and release just kind of a grace over us. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like that's going to be hard and challenging for some people. It is. It's going to be something that's going to be difficult. It is. It is. Yeah. So, Father, we just pray right now for grace on your sons and daughters. Yeah. Grace on your people for this task of moving back into a larger world. Yeah, come on. Um, that is going to be different than the world that we left. And, and the priorities that are going to be laid out before us are going to be different. So give us, first of all, the wisdom to ask you to give us wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Just give us the wisdom. That, that's, that's the gift that we need yeah, from the Jesus. Holy Spirit today is the power to ask you for the wisdom to make these decisions. I pray that for the leaders of Life Church and the other churches in our city as they have to make these decisions. I pray that for the businesses and the business leaders I pray that for us as individuals, as, as life returns and school comes back and sports and Little League and, and all the other things that uh, have, have been uh, made our world small, that we would be people who have looked at the cost, yeah. are prepared because you have equipped us for it. Um, move in this way. This is as divine, as a holy a miracle as anything else that we could ask you for today. In the name of your son, Jesus, we ask you. Amen. Amen. Awesome. John, thank you so much yet again for being here. Really appreciate it. Um, And thank you for tuning in. I hope you were blessed. I hope you were encouraged. And just want to remind you that here at Life Church, we believe in pursuing real life together. And that means that we are going after the things that God has called for us, the things that he has for us. And so as a family, as we go forward, as we pursue real life, we want to be counting the cost. We want to be looking at what does it mean, where is God taking us? And we want to be asking for his wisdom. Mm -hmm. So as you end this video today, I want to encourage you right now, count the cost. Do it individually, then go and do it with your family, whatever that looks like. But pay attention to what God is asking of you and where Mm -hmm. he's taking you. Hope you were blessed. Please tune in again. We'll have some more great content coming your way.